Hello friends, today I will explain you how we can set up Visual Studio Code for C and C++ programming. For this we have to download two important software, first MinJW compiler, second Visual Studio Code. Let's start. Open the web browser, search download MinGW and press the enter key. Click on the first link. Click on download button. It will start the downloading of MinGW compiler. When the download has been completed, close the web browser, open the download folder. So this is our min gw setup. Right click on this setup and click on run as administrator option. Click on install button. Can you ensure that your PC must be connected with the internet? This is the default location of min gw installation. Click on continue button. Click on continue button. This is MinGW package manager. From this package manager, we have to select the packages which is required for C, C++ programming. For this, we have to mark the following packages mark for installation so these are the packages which are required for C++ C++ programming in Visual Studio after selection of these packages click on installation menu then apply changes menu click on apply Kindly ensure that your PC must be connected with the internet. Now we have to click on this close button. Click on installation menu, then click on quit. Click on review changes, then click on apply. Now click on close button. After this we have to set the path of MinGW folder. For this open the my computer, go to the C drive, open the MinGW folder, open the bin folder, copy the path, close the window, right click on the my computer, select properties, click on advanced system settings. Click on environment variable, click on path, then add it. Click on new, paste the path and click on OK, OK and OK. Close the window. Now we have to verify the installation of GCC compiler. For this, search the command prompt. Type the following command gcc space double hyphen version. Press the enter key. When we execute this command, it will display the current version of gcc compiler. If this version number will appear, it means our gcc compiler working properly. Now we have to download Visual Studio code. For this, open the web browser, search, download Visual Studio Code and press the enter key. 
So this is our official download link. Click on this link. Click on Windows. The VS Code download has been started here. The VS Code has been downloaded successfully. After this, close the web browser. Open the download folder. For this, open my computer, then download. So this is our setup file. Right click on this setup file and select run as administrator. Click on OK. Select I accept the agreement radio button. Click on next. So this is our default location. Click on next. Click on next. Remember that when you install the Visual Studio Code, the last checkbox add to path must be on. Check the create desktop icon checkbox. Then click on next. Click on install button. Click on finish. Now we have to install two extensions in Visual Studio Code. For this, click on extension manager option, search C, C++. So this is our C, C++ extension, which is developed by the Microsoft. Click on this extension, then click on install. So this is extension has been successfully installed. After this, we have to install second extension, which is code runner. So this is second extension code runner. Click on this extension and click on install button. So code runner extension has been installed successfully. Close the extension window. Now we have to create and run C++ program inside the Visual Studio Code. For this, click on File menu, then New File. Now we have to select our language, which is C++. The first statement of C++ program is hash include. And the header file name is IO stream. After this, we have to type using namespace and the name of a standard namespace is std semicolon. After this, we have to call int main method and this method must return a value. Therefore, we have to type return zero. Before the return statement, I want to display a simple message. For this, we have to use cout object. Welcome to computer science tutorial and semicolon. Now we have to save our file. For this, click on file menu, then save. Right now, I am saving my file on the desktop and the file name is demo.cpp. Click on save. After this, we have to run our program. For this, we have to click on run button. When we click on run button, it will display our output into the terminal window. Here you can see that our output welcome to computer science tutorial has been displayed. So these are basic steps how to run C++ program in Visual Studio code.